Okay guys, today I'm gonna to try to work with um, showing you another form of an optical illusion. Um, it's gonna look kinda of like a cube sitting on uh, a piece of paper or on the table, okay? So it's not really hard, but it can get confusing. So you may need to stop the video every once in a while and um, try to get a better understanding of what I'm talking about. So the first thing is I wanna draw my cube. And drawing it in pencil first would be the best way because then you can erase some of the lines that we're gonna be putting in and it'll really help uh, with the illusion. However, uh, you don't have to. I'm just gonna be using a crayon. So I'm, all I'm gonna do is up here in my left corner, I'm gonna put in a square to start or a rectangle, doesn't matter which. Here I go breaking my crayons again. Okay, so I got my square up in this corner, up here. I'm gonna use this very opposite corner. So that's the top left. This is gonna be the bottom right. I'm gonna connect this bottom right corner to each one of these corners here. This corner, this corner, and that corner of my square. Um, Using a ruler will help with this. You don't have to. You can kind of eyeball it if you want. And again, I'm just putting in some simple lines. It might help um, when you're doing this to make sure that you keep an eye on both the corner of the paper and the corners of that rectangle, okay? And when you're holding a ruler, if you don't want that ruler to move around, instead of holding a ruler on the end with like two fingers, always hold your ruler still in the middle of the ruler. See, that's the middle of my ruler. And spread your fingers out, okay? Or hold your fingers like this. Because then you have two points that are being pressed down and it keeps the ruler from sliding. Okay, so I got my corner up here that has a square. I drew a line from each corner there to this bottom corner down here. Okay, I did, so I got three lines in there. Now, I'm gonna put in two more lines. One line is gonna go in between these two lines and it needs to match the direction of this line right here, okay? It needs to be parallel with it. So parallel basically means they're going in the same direction, okay? So I put it one line there. Now, I'm gonna put another line in this space. I wanna make sure it touches the one I just made though, okay? And again, this line's gonna be parallel with this one. So these two lines I'm gonna make are gonna be parallel. And that's really important. And it's even hard for Mr. Lollamandir sometimes, okay? So now I've got, see how it kind of looks like a backwards letter L? This way it looks like a regular L. Um, I'm gonna darken these lines here. Now, at this point, if you were using pencil, you could erase this stuff right here. You don't need it anymore. Now I'm gonna put in two more lines. One is gonna be parallel with the top of my paper, touching the cube I just made, okay? And one's gonna be over here, parallel with this edge of the paper, touching the cube. I know this can be confusing, that's why you wanna watch it a couple times, and then um, pause it if you need to. Okay, so I got a bunch of stuff going on here. I got a cube in this corner of my paper. Here's the top, here's two sides of my cubes, okay? And then I have this line and this line. Those two lines are gonna become the new edge of my paper, because I'm going to cut out this section, and I'm gonna cut out this section. So you see the two things I just shaded? I'm gonna cut those out, okay? Stay close to the line as you can. Um, as much of a 
straight line as you can make it will work. It will really make the um, illusion look great. But, you know, I got a shake in my hand that I usually have, and so my lines are never absolutely perfect anymore. Like, just get it close. Okay? So now I've got this cube. I've cut out this chunk. I've cut out that chunk, okay? It would really help if these lines were erased, but I'm leaving them there just in case you need to remind yourself of how we drew that cube. Now I'm gonna stick a shadow in right here. You could put it in one of two spots. You could put it here or here, but don't put it in both places. Just one area. And all I do to make that, I'm just gonna, see this line right here? I'm just gonna extend that to the new edge of my paper. And then I'm gonna shade this in. It's gonna be my shadow. This will really add to that optical illusion, having a shadow there. Okay, see, I didn't press as hard as I could though. Then the other thing that will help, this section right here, which is next to that shadow, I'm very lightly gonna shade it in. I'm not pressing as hard as I can at all, okay? So that's all I've needed to draw and cut out. Now, to make it look like the illusion, I have to use a smartphone or my iPad, and it's the way I need to hold the camera when I'm taking my photograph. So what I wanna do is I wanna turn my paper and this corner right here is the corner that I wanna aim my iPad or my smartphone at when I'm looking at this object. Also, I don't want my iPad to be perfectly flat like my table is. I wanna stand it up when I'm taking my photograph and make it pretty close to vertical, okay? So instead of looking straight down on it like my iPad is right now, I'm gonna tilt it like this. Let's see if I can do that so you can see the optical illusion. Okay, so you see what it looks like? Now I'm going to tilt And do you see how it kind of has the illusion of a cube sitting on a piece of paper when it's actually a flat piece? If I turn that paper a little, you'll see it even better. So see how I'm aiming for that corner. I got my iPad almost vertical. And once you get it to where you think, oh, that really looks like the illusion, then you snap your picture real quick, maybe take two or three. And that's all it really is. So I can't wait to see if you guys try this and have fun.